welcome back to my channel it's jasmine lee here and today's video is going to be uh really focused on this eyeshadow look that i did i got this inspiration from tosh janae collins i'll link her channel down below in the description box um she used the art library flame buoyant palette i don't have that and so my challenge for myself today was to see if I could like recreate her look or do something similar using what I have. I feel like YouTube has taken a turn into this mass marketing frenzy and I don't always want to be sold to and I know you guys don't either. So today's video is just me using what I have. I'll do my best to explain the shade itself and not so much focus on the brand or the name but i will definitely tell you guys what everything is that i use just in case you have it or want to get it but that's up to you so <laughs> with no further ado we're gonna get into the video um if you catch the vibe please subscribe and have a great day bye guys so first up is priming our lids as you can see i'm using p louise's base in the shade from our two First, I'm going into Vermilion Venom from the Midnight Sun Palette by Pat McGrath. And I'm just putting that all in my crease, starting with my outer corner because that's where I want the color to be the most intense. Next up is Velvet Kiss from the P. Louise Secret Center Palette and that's going to be blended into my crease slightly as well as my outer corner so of course it's under Vermilion Venom. Here I'm going back in with the first brush just to restore some of the Vermilion Venom and then I go back into Velvet Kiss and just kind of blend things out. Next up, Shape Morocco from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I am using that above where I placed Vermilion Venom and I'm just blending that out. And I'll have all the brushes in the description box if you're wondering what I'm using. Now is the shade Love Shy from the Secret Center palette and this is where the look starts to get deep and intense. So all this next stuff is about building up the color on that outer corner. All right, we're going back into the Midnight Sun palette in the shade Extreme Dusk, which is a very dark brown. Um, and I'm just using that to kind of put on my outer V. I do drag it a little bit into the crease, but not much. Next, I'm taking Blitz Flame and Bronze Blitz from the Bronze Seduction palette from Pat McGrath. And I'm putting Blitz Flame on my outer eyelid and Bronze Blitz on the inner eyelid. Now I'm taking Blood Moon 005 and I'm placing that right over the bronze blitz on the inner eyelid. I also went back into Blitz Flame from the Mothership 5 and I just wanted to intensify that color. I love getting the most pigment out of her shimmers and her glitters. Alright, last we're going into Beast from the ABH Alyssa Edwards palette and the only place I'm putting this black focus is in that outer corner. Radiance Waterproof Liquid Liner and I'm not doing a super dramatic cat eye I just wanted to make the part where my lashes would be a little more dark so for the most part the eyes are done we're gonna go into the face now so I'm taking my Marula face oil from Drunk Elephant and just rubbing it in um, kind of using it to prime and moisturize my face for foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Cognac and I'll be blending that out with a brush from BS Mall. Thank you. 
Next, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut, and I'm putting that in all the areas I highlight, under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Now I'm taking my KISS foundation stick in the shade Chocolate and I'll be using this for my cheek and nose contours. So I'm using this Real Techniques brush, um, it's a sculpting brush and I got it from Walmart. And I really like this brush for like cream contours and cream products especially because it just is so dense that it does a really good job of like blending out a thick product. Now I'm taking the LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner and putting that in my waterline. For blush, I'm using the ABH Blush Gradient Kit in the shades Vegas and Blackberry. Um, I did use a little bit too much blush for my liking, so I used my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and blended it out, and you'll see like the after effect of that. For lipstick, I have the NYX Full Throttle in the shade Loaded, and I have my uh, LA Girl Matte in the shade Spicy. And I did start out using Full Throttle, but I just wasn't feeling it for some reason, so I went and used the LA Girl one over top of it and that one was a lot more rich and a lot more of what I was going for. So lastly, I went into my ABH Alyssa Edwards palette back into the B shade and then I put that all along my bottom lash line. I also went back into the Midnight Sun Pat McGrath palette and I smoked the black out using that as well just to kind of tie the look together. And I did put my lashes on off camera. They are from Kiss as well. I actually used them in my last video on the reverse smoky eye. I also used Jubilee from the Midnight Sun Pat McGrath palette as my inner corner highlight. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you liked it enough to consider subscribing if you're not already. And thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate you guys.